Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I did this pour um, probably a couple of months ago. It's on a Lazy Susan that I got from Hobby Lobby. It still has the price tag on it, $22. And um, taped it off with frog tape and did the acrylic pour. So it has had weeks and weeks, well, probably two months to cure good. Okay, and I'm going to put resin on it. That's what I'm going to do in this video, trying out a new brand. The main thing you want to do with any kind of resin is you want to make sure you're totally level, which I am. And then I've got little spacers for cups. I've got another piece of wood I'm going to place over it when I'm finished to keep any dust from falling onto the resin. And of course you need to make sure that your piece that you're putting on top of it is, is dust free. And then <clears throat> with any resin uh, you need good ventilation, you need to wear a mask. So I'm going to be putting mine on here in a minute. And then I read the directions and the reviews from Amazon on this product which is ZDS is the company name. Zedinski. I think it's German. And um, they asked me to do a promo or you know, try their resin for you. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't remember what I paid for it, um, but they reimbursed me. And so uh, they claim that it's really great. So we're going to give it a try. And from the reviews, I heard that this resin likes a lot of warmth in the room. So I brought in an extra space heater in my studio to pump up the heat for 24 hours so that this room is nice and toasty while this resin cures because I want it to be rock hard and um, you know to do exactly what it's supposed to do. I've got my heat gun here to pop any air bubbles and with any epoxy or resin you need to make sure that you do exactly equal parts of A and B because it's always a two-part process and these are five ounce cups which I want 10 ounces of resin so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my part A and B into these cups and then pour them into this large cup. <coughs> so I'm going to remove the tops and it says to to do exactly equal amounts and um, mix thoroughly in the container wall clockwise place it for three to five minutes and then use. So I'm going to mix it for several minutes and I'm going to let it sit for three to five minutes and then I'm going to use it. And it says it has an operating time of 45 minutes. And um, in the reviews someone said that it didn't harden because they didn't apparently have it warm enough in the room so that's why I brought my heater in to ensure that I've got enough heat going on in this room. It also says you can bake it in the oven, which I don't really want to put my Lazy Susan in the oven. So I don't want to have to put something in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to, like I said, pour exactly equal amounts. Part B is always a little bit more like corn syrup. It's a little, always a little bit thicker. So it comes out kind of in a different consistency. But the key is, is to get the exact amount as the other. So I've got, I'm a little I'm a little shy on this one, so now I'm going to go back and add just a 
little bit more. And I think, I think that should do it. So they look exactly equal. So I'm going to take my larger cup, pour the first cup in, and I'm going to take a stick and scrape around the edges just to make sure and get out everything I can. After I uh, get this mixed and we're waiting for it to sit for three to five minutes, I'll show you. I also have a larger package of it that I ordered from Amazon. And I'll show you what it looks like in the larger bottles. I would say this is maybe a pint. This, these size bottles that I have here are maybe a pint. Like I said, I needed, I wanted to mix 10 ounces. I looked up a resin calculator and I've got a 15 inch turntable or Lazy Susan so according to that I need roughly um, 8 ounces and so I'm mixing 10. It's very very thick that's for sure. And again, it says to scrape the walls clockwise. So I'm going to continue to stir in the clockwise direction. But it's super, super thick. Most of the resins that I've mixed up before, I know FAMO would, um, you have to mix it for five or six minutes and then put it in a clean cup and mix it for another five or six minutes, so quite a long time. And I've used Pro Marine and I think theirs was about five minutes, so um, it doesn't really say how long to stir it. Um, it just says mix it thoroughly, so I'm a little confused about that part. But then it does say to let it sit three to five minutes. I've got a, lot, a little bit of arthritis in my hands, so sometimes it's challenging for me to do heavy-duty stirring. Uh, it hurts right here in this part of my hand. But this definitely looks like it'll be plenty for my project here. I have tiles that I just painted and I wanted to see how this did first before I put it on 30 something tiles. So I'm going to scrape and scrape and scrape and scrape and so that hopefully I'm mixing every bit of it up as well as possible. I know with other resins too, um, you can almost feel them heating up in your cup. You feel the warmth in your hand, but I don't feel that with this resin as of yet anyway. Again though, it's super thick. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for three to five minutes. I'm going to set the timer and be right back. While I'm waiting, here is the half gallon. So I also got the gallon version. And um, this is what the label looks like on the bigger bottle. ZD Sticky. And I don't know how you say that. It, even if it's German, I'm not sure because everything else is written in English. So it says quality is our culture. It says UV stable, crystal clear, high gloss, no VOC, VOC free, safe and low odor, easy to use. But it has no directions on the bottle. Thus you have your little paper that came like with the smaller set. This is what came with the larger 
It just says mix thoroughly onto the container wall clockwise, place it for three to five minutes, and then use. So it does not tell you how long to mix it in this little brochure either. And even though I mixed equal amounts from my cups in the bottles, they're not the equal amounts. So pay attention to that as well. You don't, you don't eyeball the measurement from the bottles. You definitely go by whatever you're pouring into to measure your amounts. So I just want to make that perfectly clear because it's, you've got to have an equal amount of each part A and B for it to be successful at curing properly. So I did this piece and I was going to sell it. I may sell it, but it really looks beautiful in my own house, in my new house. So I may keep it for myself unless somebody just begs to have it. <laughs> so, and I'm always, you know, I'm always uh, willing to let people have something if they really want it, you know. So, I think it's been over three minutes, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pour it on. I did have silicone or OGX or something in my, um, my pour, you know, the original pour, and so I wanted to make sure to note to you that I did clean it with Dawn dish liquid to get rid of any oily residue and um, let it dry really well. So I'm going to take this stick and just kind of move the product out to the edges. Good thing about a turntable is you can just turn it automatically. That's the neat part about it. So I haven't quite, I'm starting to let it go over the edge. Of course I'm more concerned about the top than the edges, but it's weird because it's super thick. Uh, definitely the other resins that I've worked with have been a little thinner than this and so for me who's not done a lot of resin this is a little disconcerting because you don't you don't know if it's supposed to be this thick but in the reviews it did say that it was thick It definitely made the metallics in this pour pop again. Oh, the gold is just sparkly, glittery looking. And um, the blue, the, the teal, pearl color is just gorgeous. So it's, it definitely has brought all these metallics back out with the resin for sure. Okay, I think I've made it around the whole side, run my fingers around to make sure I feel. Also, I'm going to um, heat it. I don't see a lot of bubbles, but you always heat resin. I think I have a few little dust particles, but I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm going to cover it, which helps keep any more dust particles from falling on it. And I will be back in 24 hours to show you the end result. Okay. The Lazy Susan is cured. It did beautifully. I kept the room really warm. 
I added a heater into the room, in the one room that it's in, and closed the door to really pump up the heat a bit. And it did very wonderfully. It brought out all the metallics. It's really quite beautiful. So I have the tape to remove on the underside. So I'm going to take me a, an old towel to lay my Lazy Susan on so I don't scratch it. And the key is just to take that green fog tape off. All right, the tape is off. It looks great. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you will, give me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Also, click on the bell in the bottom right to get notifications when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Check out all the links below the video where it says show more on your laptop or the down arrow on your mobile device or your iPad. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Hugs and kisses. Goodbye.